Hi, my name is Eliza, and I'm a product manager at PingMe. Today, I'm going to show you how you can use PingMe to identify betting and lottery behavior with your users. First, I'll show you how to do it using the sample users in the PingMe demo account. So we've logged into our dashboard here. I'm going to go to data. We'll see our list of users. Let's pick one. Um, Moses. What we'll see here is the list of accounts that Moses has and then a list of transactions. If that transaction is associated with betting or lottery behavior, you'll see this little blue label. So you can see one here, 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 etc. If you want to filter this list of transactions so that you are only seeing betting and lottery transactions, you can click right here and it'll apply the filter. Now, this is great if you want to look and you want to just have the, the UI, but if you're a developer, I'll show you how you can use our feature library to identify transactions um, within your code. So this is our feature library. You will look for the feature that says count betting and lottery events. Click that. And there you go, you're able to use that. While you're here, you might as well check out all of the other features we have that you can use to power your models. In this video description, you'll see there is a link to request a consultation where we can explore our products um, in a one-on-one -on -one call and um, also a link to sign up to our self-serve platform.